Hello again, Seattle Buggers. I am Blunty, and welcome to this improved Osmo audio episode of DigiDirect TV. Alright guys, so in the last episode, I reviewed the DJI Osmo, and I was very impressed with it, except for one thing. As you may have heard for yourself, and a few of you pointed out in the comments, I'm sure there is noise from the mics. The microphones themselves are they're, they're mounted on the handle of the unit. Uh, and that causes a couple of issues, mainly that some of the uh, mechanical noise of the gimbal and the fan in the uh, actual uh, uh, camera mount itself that keeps all those components cool and operating at peak efficiency can be transferred to the microphone, which is unfortunate. However, the DJI Osmo does have a microphone port in it, which I'm going to try today. First thing I'm going to try is this, which is the DJI Osmo supplied omnidirectional little microphone. So we're going to plug that in right now and see how we go. Boom, one quick jump cut later and you are now listening to me through DJI's external little connected microphone. I like a couple of things about it. One, it just sort of gets it away from the mechanisms a bit of course. It's on a little floppy bit of wire so it's sort of bouncing around there. Which I imagine could help with some vibration dampening there. But also, hopefully, now you can hear for yourself the difference in between this and the onboard microphone. Hopefully you'll be hearing much less no onboard sort of mechanical sounds or the fan sounds or anything like that. We'll find out when I listen back to this. But if this isn't good enough. The good news is it is a standard microphone connection. So what I'm going to do now is head back to the home studio and try a few other mics that I've got sitting around in a drawer. I've got one in particular that I think will be a perfect match for this camera, particularly on event show floors where it's noisy, you're doing two camera stuff for vloggers and things like that, like me, who needs to, you know, sometimes you need to talk to the camera in a noisy environment. I've got just the thing in mind. So we're going to go home now. I'm going to try it out. Hopefully it works. All right, so here we are back in the studio. And just for point of comparison, here is what I sound like with the onboard mics. And I have noticed the Osmo has turned off the fan just now. Apparently because I'm indoors, out of direct sunlight, the camera doesn't need the fan to cool down. So you'll probably be hearing a little bit less noise. Uh, probably still should be picking up a little bit of that mechanical noise, though, I imagine. Anyway, I'm going to switch across to the mic I was just telling you about, which is, uh, I'll tangle it up in its own cord right now, which is this. This is the uh, My Mic Sports Mic, which you've heard me talk about in several different videos on this channel, probably. Uh, reviewed it separately, and I use it with my GoPro all the time. Sort of a little uh, lapel-style microphone, or lapel-style clip. I have a little boom on it, which lets me sort of get it away from the clothes and stuff and I clip it a bit, but I really like it. So we're going to try it on this. So here we are now with the MyMic Sports Mic. It's clipped to my uh, shirt down here. Can you see it? There it is. Probably didn't sound too good when I was touching and fiddling with it there, but anyway, point is, a uh, little lapel mic clipped onto you in noisy environments. I've used this on show floors with my GoPro and stuff. It works brilliantly in that sort of situation. I've used it in interviews, all that kind of stuff. And once more, the Osmo has been smart enough to turn off the camera uh, fan when it doesn't actually need it indoors here. So that's a good sign that I didn't notice when I was shooting outdoors with it, which just kept the fan running the whole time. But I'm just waffling so you can hear what it sounds like on this mic. <laughs> All right, so now the microphone you were listening to me on is one of my other favorite mics in the entire world, and it is this little guy. This is the Rode Video Micro, another mic that I've recommended time and time and time again and have loved since I first reviewed it. It is brilliant, and I'm just using it with a little uh, extension cable here because this is an on-camera mic. It's designed to sit in a hot shoe and stuff, but I use it with a little hand grip here and extension sometimes. Just uses a handheld mic uh, when I'm on, again, when I'm on show floors and stuff. It's wonderfully directional, so it helps isolate a lot of background noise, and with any luck, it should be working absolutely perfectly with the DJI Osmo, in which case, this will be the mic I would recommend for show floors when you're doing interviews or, you know, two camera stuff like this, so you can get up right, right under your chin and sort of isolate as much of that noise as possible. And the DJI app, by the way, does let you have control of your audio level, so you can use the microphone. I don't think I should use it this close to me. Oh, it should be all right. They've got a little VU meter as well, so you can see when you're peeking out on the mic, which is another wonderful touch, thoughtful touch, professional touch, from DJ on their app. Uh, so you can set your own audio levels, make sure you can isolate as much of that background noise as possible. Anyway, one last microphone to test. All right, final mic I'm testing now. Three different types of mic, three different styles of mic, three different costs of mic. From the little lapel style one to the handheld sort of on-camera style one to this, which is the Rode M3, which is a professional grade studio quality uh, microphone, which I used to use handheld for pretty much all of my uh, on location and event shooting stuff. The reason I don't use it these days is because, well, frankly, it's very heavy. Uh, it's also battery powered if you don't have phantom power for it uh, and I'm terrible with mem remembering to bring extra batteries and remembering to turn the microphone off when I put it back in my bag at the end of the day so <laughs> it's just, it was easier for me to go for something like the Rode Video Micro which doesn't need batteries at all so hooray it makes up for my ineptitude but the point is 
if you are using the DJI Osmo out in the field to do two camera stuff, to do interview type stuff, and you want to use a proper professional grade handheld microphone, this is your proof that it will work absolutely flawlessly. So there you are, what I consider to be a vital addition to the DJI Osmo, especially if you're like me and you need to talk to the camera sometimes or have other people talk to the camera if you're doing sort of interviews and things like that, using it on show floor, so not just using the vision only and slapping some piano plinky plonky music underneath it or something cliche like that. But yeah, super happy that it does have a microphone input so you can solve sort of the one glaring issue that the, uh, the hardware does have uh, and also that it's a standard microphone input, unlike on the GoPro, which you need a little USB adapter to use a standard microphone with. Ah, DJ, I've done it right. Standard microphone adapter, you can plug in pretty much whatever you like, as we just found out, and it will work brilliantly and happily and fine, which makes me extra super happy with the DJ I was made. In the last video, when we reviewed the unit itself, you could tell how gleeful I was, how surprised I was at the level of power available here, and I'm only even more impressed now that I can use whatever mic I like so I can have proper control over what I'm doing and that's the important thing about getting good content having proper control over your equipment is kind of important but that is your lot for this episode thanks for watching we'll catch you next time so boom boom one quick crash cut later and boom one quick damn it